happened here. Uh, we attacked with uh, air and, and did a bombardment and actually wiped out a step. So we killed the 6-8 that was here and didn't have to attack. And then uh, also eliminated the unit that was here and took a step loss with this chappie. That's the uh, 13th Panzer. Took a beat down. Fighting that big 6-8 mechanized unit. This guy. Must have had the odd KV-1 snuck in there, right? So, we finished that combat. We did a combat up here and forced these chappies to retreat. And they advanced into this hex. And in fact, I'm probably going to move these guys down too. Uh, because what you do here is you combat and then move. And I'm going to move these boys down to there. So we moved everybody. I moved the HQ down to here. This is uh, seven hexes away from the supply unit, which is here. So I believe that if the logistics chip pops up next turn, we're in good shape. Except that, uh, dang it, this guy here will be out of supply. So we're going to pull him back one hex to there. One, two, three, four, C, and he will be out of supply as well. So I have to bring him back. So I've got to keep, I've got to stay, one, two, three, I've got to stay within three hexes of this HQ to be in supply. One, two, three, four. Or trace back seven hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he would need to come back one hex as well. Those guys are all okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So and all these guys will be okay. And I can't move those guys this turn because they are uh, they were not within command range to be activated. At least that's my understanding. So that's the end of the first Panzer Chit activation. Now let's talk about the idea that I mentioned in the last video of uh, putting the chits back into the cup uh, to be pulled again. First Panzer, if... Wait, I'll just read this, so I'll make sure I get this right, let me just double check this. Right, so on turns 2, 3, and 4, the Axis player may return the first and second Panzer HQs to the activation cup immediately after use, allowing them to be drawn twice in those turns. Bloody, bloody, blah. Providing that the two HQs are not within eight hexes of each other at any point during any of these activations. There's first Panzer, and I put second Panzer all the way up here, so I... Uh, no, you can't see. Second Panzer is all the way up here, so they're definitely more than two hexes, uh, eight hexes away. So this guy goes back into the cup, and he may get a chance to have another activation. I'm feeling like this is probably a uh, somewhat uh, a little further than obviously it's a little further than what happened historically. Uh, at least I think it is anyway. But uh, I, I may be uh, what I did here that was different. I think than a typical setup is I didn't have a lot of units uh, in Hungary at all or uh, in the Carpathian uh, Mountains area near near uh, Kiev here, uh, in the Kiev district. I, I really put everything here and blew a hole through here and really went for it uh, so that I could capture this uh, road through to uh, Vinitsa. Uh, not road, rail. Uh, rail track through to Venetza. All right, uh, so that kind of gives you a feel for what's going on. We'll uh, pull next chit. In fact, why don't we pull next chit now and see what it is? He said, scrambling around madly. Ha! Third Panzer. Really hard for the Soviets to get a break here because they only have two chits in and the Germans have four. Third Panzer is right there, right up in the guts of things. There we go. So what we're going to need to do now is decide whether we want to uh, combat with everybody in range of him or uh, or move and then just combat with the mech and that will be another interesting exercise because we've got to manage our supply how, how we make sure we stay in supply and we have to clear uh, one of these two roads here there's a lot of units here and I'm just I think I'm just going to go balls to the wall and attack everything and, and hope for the best and, and, and take the losses as they come all right here we go